Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City. When we talk to investors uh, and we talk about the quality of the investment property that they're buying, we use metrics, we use a spreadsheet because as I've talked about in the past, we wanna look at the capitalization rate. In other words, your total return on the total money out of pocket. We look at cash on cash and cash on cash is how much of the money that I invested in down payment and closing cost am I getting back every year? And then third, internal rate of return, which gives us a seven year or a 10 year run percentage wise of what are you making on your money? But from now on in our spreadsheets, we're adding a fourth metric to make sure that whatever you're buying is not just a good buy, it's a good investment. And that is equity buildup. Now what equity buildup means is, is from day one, one year, second year, third year, how much more money am I actually making on that property on paper? So if we take Oklahoma City, for instance, and that's a 3% average appreciation year on and year out, then you're talking about properties from anywhere from $10,000 maybe to $5 million, and that's not really a good metric to use. So it is important as we evaluate that individual property, but we add two other things to it. Number one, if you, are using a 30-year Fannie Mae loan, you're paying down principal every month that a payment comes in. You have that investor, or excuse me, that tenant that's paying for your mortgage and you're making positive cash flow and principal is being reduced. So that adds equity to the property. Now, there's another important thing that we do and that is, are we really making a good buy for you? So for instance, if a property is $170,000 on the purchase, but the appraisal price, the comparable uh, values are $180,000. Then we're adding $10,000 of equity to your wealth. So the key is, is that, yeah, Oklahoma City has a 3% appreciation, but if I'm making 5.36% per year equity buildup or 6%, that's just another factor that we can throw into this when we're evaluating what we recommend for investors to buy. We want you to know that we are extremely careful about how we recommend things. You know, because a good buy on a house is not necessarily a good investment. Obviously, we've got to use rents. We've got to use uh, vacancy rate. We have to use uh, repairs that you possibly make on the house. All of that is in there. The more data that we can accumulate, the more analysis that we can do, the better buy that you're going to have. And that's what we care about more than anything else. How much year in and year out wealth are you building on that investment property? This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.